Chillerama, 2011, directed by Joe Lynch, Adam Rifkin, Tim Sullivan, and Adam Green, starring Corey Jones, Haley Thorne, and Brendan McKeon. A local drive-in airs a round of cheesy horror films during its last night of business. Oh, and a zombie outbreak occurs later on. Anthology films are the all-you-can-eat buffet of sci-fi and horror films. You're going to get variety, though the quality will vary as it isn't the focus of the restaurant. It won't be the best pizza you've ever had because it isn't a pizzeria, but you're gonna grab a slice anyway. This film is a fascinating fusion of the Grindhouse revival spearheaded by Tarantino and Rodriguez Planet Terror and Death Proof filtered through the creative freedom of 21st century independent horror. There is an unbelievable number of familiar faces in this film, including Ray Wise, Eric Roberts, and Richard Reel. Most shocking, however, is the fact that Sven Gulli makes a cameo in this film, dressed as a human newscaster. The influences are multiple and noticeable. Troma, Kevin Smith, Sam Raimi, Rob Zombie, Mel Brooks, early Peter Jackson, and countless others, with quotes and references to Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Dawn of the Dead, and countless other beloved titles stitched into the dialogue of the overarching story. An unfortunate tendency of anthology films is the lack of cohesion due to different directors being at the helm of each segment though, with some stories being better than others. I only enjoyed Adam Rifkin's Wadzilla. The rest of the entire film ultimately fell flat for me, even though the premises themselves were funny and should have worked. A majority of the film also veers a little too hard into purposely bad territory like a trauma production, which is a major pet peeve of mine. This film is demented, sleazy, over the top, tasteless, entertaining, juvenile, shameless, lowbrow, and exactly what it wanted to be. Verdict? thumbs down, but I recommend people check it out. I didn't enjoy it personally, but I could tell this was made with a lot of love as a passion project, and your mileage might vary with this one. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.